for trying out a PS1 game called Tale of the Sun. Brought to us by Art Dink. Something to be said about living the wild, pure, simple life. That's what we're going to be doing in Tale of the Sun. I mean, I'm not going to do it actually myself. I'm going to simulate it with a video game. It says Tale of the of Sun. Pretty sure they use, I'm pretty sure the name is Tale of the Sun. These are the options. You got attack, you got eat, you got throw. You also have jump, you have take, eat, and... Let's see, circle and triangle both eat and throw, uh, but one attacks and the other takes. And then there's run. Game level easy? Probably good. That's probably fine. Let's start a game. I don't know much about this game. All I know is that it's... You kind of just are running around a prehistoric world doing something, and the game doesn't really tell you what to do, I think. Picking a character. Uh, I, I, that's probably fine for the name. That's, uh, is this, are we just naming one person Adam and Eve? I guess we'll go with that. That's some good cave art there. Uh, yeah, stereo sound is probably good. Now loading. I don't know much about the game. I've, I haven't really seen much of it at all. It seems unique. A unique experience for your PlayStation 1. It's the kind of game where I would say I'm surprised this got a North American release, but apparently it did. Okay, I'm... I'm is this a character select? Let's go with Cave Lady? I guess? I wonder if there's any gameplay difference between the cavemen and cave lady. Okay, so first thing I'm noticing, analog sticks don't do anything. From before the era where support for analog sticks was a common thing, I guess. There's things on the field. I, okay, I can jump. Can grab? Can I not grab these items? Apparently not. So jump and grab are kind of the only things I can do right now. Let's that L trigger and R trigger do that. What is this? Moving the camera around, but only a little bit. Okay, the L and R bumpers move the camera upward. L and R bumpers move camera upward. L and R triggers move camera downward. Oh, we got a day night cycle. Sun's coming down. Wow. What a... Look at the cosmos tonight in the night sky. Oh, I'm asleep. Just like r right then and there, huh? Okay, that's... Okay, I can go to save. Oh, info. What's info? Tell me about my body. That's my body. Um, I have my swim parts, and my jump parts, and my brain, my hand. It's not pointing at the hand, is it? The, the propagate part of the body, and the run part, and then I have my max and min meter. Okay, I, that's just a picture, I can't do anything there. What about my, my history? Nothing? Okay, I guess I have not done anything in my life to uh, make cave paintings about. What What's the tower? Oh. oh, right. I believe that our ultimate goal of the game is to build a tower to the sun. I believe that is the case. And about? Nope, not body. Staff? Okay, just the actual credits. In appreciation of Surya 
Yoshinobu's cooperation providing the Japanese sugar cakes used in the game as food items. Effects of the food items in the game are not representative of the actual sugar cakes. Wait, so the items that we're seeing are photos of, of real sugar cakes that were made to look like flowers and grass? That's, that's a nice touch. Press it. It's like when you unpause it, it's the sound effect from old cartoons when someone starts running. Alright, can I can I pick anything? Okay, I can pick this up. I can pick this up. I, I ate it. So can can everything? It didn't see. Oh, wait, okay. Do I want to eat? I don't have any meters on the screen or anything. Okay, so maybe I was just moving. Maybe just in the wrong position to pick things up. If I pick something up, can I do anything else with it? I can jump with it. It looks like once I pick something up, the only thing I'm doing is eating. Okay, maybe I can't pick this up. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can, I can pick that up. Oh, maybe I can just only eat so much? Maybe if I'm not hungry, I can't pick up? Maybe that's it. Also, I noticed that as I was eating, like, different parts of my body were flashing. Like, am I only getting nutrients to certain parts? It's raining. There's a bird. Should I... Should I be... Should I do anything with birds? It's a rock. Can I eat that rock? We're living the wild, free life. We have no concerns. Can I cross water? Yep, <laughs> we're not gonna swim. We're just gonna run through it. I walk, run up this mountain? I can. Well, it's a hill, not a mountain, really. So I'm going like up towards this, up towards the distance because that's where I can see. There's no way to actually like turn the camera look in a different direction. I can run in other directions, but I can't actually... I really can't see much about what's in those other directions. Only this way. I, am I supposed to go this way, since that's where I can see? Oh, fell asleep. I don't think I pressed a button to do that. I think that's automatic. This is some good nighttime music. Okay, there we go. Am I hungry? Do I want to eat anything yet? I can't tell if I'm not picking them up because... Okay, no, there we go. Was that just the wrong button to pick something up? Okay. I guess this... Is this attack? I guess this is attack. One of the buttons did say it was attack. I thought that animation was picking up. No. This is picking up. Asleep. Ate too much.
Look, when you don't have a bed, the whole world becomes your bed. Why not just fall asleep anywhere? Is there a reason not to? There is not. Okay, so if I eat this, my head glows. If I eat this, my legs glow. If I eat this, my arms glow. Now, if I go to info, does it say anything different about my body? Does it show, like, I don't know, a status? I mean, it tells me which parts are which. Does it tell me, like, the status of them at any time? And if I get this... Okay, shoulders. Which one is the leaf again? That's arms. Oh, big bone down there. Don't think I can eat that. Can I pick it up? No. I might need those for the tower. Oh, hello. Are you friendly or am I going to kill you? Oh, I can throw that. That's a weapon. About to say is an apple. I guess the apple is not for eating. Apple is for killing. Okay, that's chest. Alright, do I kill you with the apple? Missed. What about this? That's legs. Okay, what about hand to hand? Okay, no, it's running away. I was about to beat it up. It, it started running away. That's head. Oh, the fight is on! The fight is on! I killed it. Return? Yes? That icon was not a sugar cake. It was just a drawing. Alright, why did I come back here? It's a different color apple. Does this Is this a weapon or food? Okay, that's head food. It seems like there's only one, like, two things to do in this game. It's run around and eat the many, many objects around. And then if you find some, a living being, you can kill it and eat it and sleep. Okay, those are the things. And then we teleported to the beginning? Is it good to teleport to the beginning? Oh, that's a, I could fight that bird! Bird fighting confirmed. Can I run faster than the bird flies? No, but... I can hit them in the air. They do take more than one hit, so... Actually killing one like that does not seem likely. If I had an apple to throw at the birds, it would be a different story. Can I pick up that rock? No, it's a... No, I can't. None of the foods so far seems like it makes my crotch glow. I'm looking for that. Well, I have, like, an icon in the upper right. What is that? What is, what is that? You know, something that just occurred to me. Uh, 
Is it possible to fall asleep when I'm running through water? Because I can't control when I fall asleep. That seems like it could be dangerous. It's a winter wonderland. And for some reason I have like, I don't know, rotating fire? In the upper corner? What is it? I do not know. Let me press my buttons. Anything different about the buttons? No. Uh, nothing different about these buttons. I wonder how big the game world is. Like, since it's filling in as we, as we, as we walk, like, there's no draw distance or anything. It could be as, you know, could be infinitely large. Not like you have to see the whole thing. Just be maybe progressively generated, I don't know. I don't know if any PS1 games did that. Uh-oh. Fight time. Well, can I actually get the app, throw it, throw it an apple at it? That's hard to do. If I can hit it, it will, it will fight until I do, it will run away. There we go. Okay, I I got the meat, and it asked me if I wanted to return. I assume there's a reason to return after killing an animal. But what is it? Are there any buttons I should be pressing here? Don't see any. Any different, anything different about my body? Is it on fire? What about my history? Okay, no, there's something here. This is my kill count. The casualties of war. I killed two monkeys. And I have nothing here under tower yet. Okay, so, it is recording how many animals I kill for some reason. <laughs> the, Im <laughs> the immediate falling asleep is pretty funny. Well, there were other monkeys over there. I guess let's rush on over and murder them. If I fill up that screen of dead animals, does anything happen? Another monkey. Ah, 
How about no? Oh, that's the entire body. That's the entire body now that glows. Let's take a look at our info at our info. Yep, four down. Okay, that's a weapon. That's not, that's not food. I was wondering what that was. Can't pick those up. Well, it looks like that there is a lot less in terms of resources up here in the northern wastes. Hmm? Giant nose. Is this a f fall asleep? Okay. Is the nose of significance? Can't hit it. Can't pick it up. Is this a weapon? It is a weapon, but there's nothing to throw it at. Wow, we are running straight up. We are actually running up a mountain now. Face plant up the mountain. Look, you gotta go to sleep, you gotta go to sleep. We made it to the top. And we're sort of hopping? Hopping down for some reason? I don't know why we're doing that. Not actually pressing anything. I can change direction. Okay, I can turn back the other way and I will stop hopping. Did we reach the end of the world? I don't think we can survive down here. We're far from home now. Not another living being in sight.
Don't know if there's a reason to, cl to cross the mountain, but it would make sense that maybe there's a... As in video games, as they will do, having a very tall mountain surround the area of where you should be. Representing, hey, don't go here. It's just usually you don't... you can't actually go up the mountain. This game, you can. They let you do it. Maybe there's nothing on the other side of that, but they let you do it. Found another edge, maybe. Alright, so there are limits to the world. There are borders. Is this another rock? Okay, well, um, we fell asleep. Another, I think that's just another another rock. Been a while since we've seen food. Will we make it back to a place where the Oh no, okay, food is appearing now. Food is appearing. Oh. Look at this. Look at this thick boy. Time for combat. Maybe I should pick up a rock. This seems like it's more serious combat. Pick up pick up that rock. Nope. Oh. Pick up, pick this up. Uh, nope. All right. Never mind. Time to punch. Yeah, that's a much more serious customer. loading. All right. We have more of a selection. All right. Let's uh, try going down this time. Hello. My attack is a little bit different. It's one hand instead of two. Sure. Like, I'm assuming it's a good thing to return. Since it... wants us to do that. And when I appear, I do glow as if... I, as if I ate it. Oh. Is this, uh, anything? Oh, it is something. My tattoo resonates. What was the res- Why did it resonate? I don't know. But clearly this is an important symbol for him. Oh, other, other, uh, oh, oh no, okay, he, he's, he apparently, uh, oh, do we, are we changing tattoos based on which one we look at? Are we getting branded with a tattoo when we look at one of those things? Uh, 
Alright, but what is the reason to um to resonate with one of these things? How does that help? I don't suppose it might uh give us any info about that. Oh, okay, the dead monkeys ca carry over. My kill count is still in effect. Okay, and the tattoo is on here. So you can look up which of these you have. Oh, and now, okay, so now I'm controlling a second guy. Now he's appearing on, on the tower thing. But no tower has actually been constructed. Can't see if there's another side to this because it's to the south. And of course, we cannot look that way. It is not for us. And if we go far enough in this direction, we also get to some snowy, uh, snowy climates. Maybe we just get to that eventually, no matter which direction we would go to. Hmm. Well, that looks like trouble. Can I actually connect with a rock? I can't pick that up. This is a stick. Can I throw this? Missed. Hitting with one of these throwables... Bit of a challenge. Just missed. now. All I want to do is just connect with one throwing thing. Oh, hold on. I, f I fell asleep. Fell asleep. Just want to do it once. Just to see ha what happens. How much damage does it look like it does? Also, the possibility of attempting to do hand-to-hand -hand combat again. It did not work out well the first time, but, you know, maybe maybe need to think more tactically.
Just try to get into the right position. Okay, there we go. Actually hit it. Now it's coming after me. Don't know how much damage it did. Hard to say. But maybe we can try, like, try to get around it. It turns around too fast. I don't think... I don't think I'm going to be able to like get behind it. Well, I mean, I can dodge its attack... And then get behind it. That actually does work. No, no. It killed me. It seems like it is possible to run around and poke at it. It's quite a face going on there. Oh, look at those eyes. Those are some eyes. Alright. Let's head east. I'm getting snow immediately. To the water we go. Is there another? Yeah, it looks like there's another side to this water. There's like something under here. Okay, whatever that is, I can eat it. Get a running start when you fall asleep. It's a new sport, seeing how much distance you can get when you fall asleep. How far do you slide? I don't think we've seen this one before. Okay, we, it's an eatable. Uh, it doesn't look like we can pick that up. Another one of these guys. Oh, this one is this one coming after me immediately? Yeah, it is. That one did not wait for me to to uh, start the aggression. It's coming straight at me. It's also a tighter turner than those giant capybaras. So that yeah, that one is fiercer than the other animals we've seen.
So we've gone in each direction so far. Yeah, this one has not changed. We have not killed any of the any of the other animals. Only two people appearing here. Doesn't have doesn't seem like additional people have appeared yet. So the only sort of change it seems like anything we've done is to kill monkeys. We did get to some monoliths in the south, which gave us a tattoo. Did we start off with a tattoo? We should look at that. Okay, there is an icon there. Before we do, even before we do anything. But what does the icon mean? What is the relevance? Are there any more monkeys, any easy animals to kill to increase our kill count? Or is it necessary to just start going straight at the tougher guys? Oh, there's another human. The most dangerous game. Are you a friendly human or someone I should kill? All right, well, they're not uh, aggressive, but maybe we are. He's holding a spear, so is it possible for us to get a spear? It would be helpful. Yeah, that wasn't going to work out for us. It's quite a face going on there. Yeah, I'm just thinking, very bold for a company to actually put a game like this out at that time. It's like an actual game coming out at retail, and it's this. Why does it sound like this? Why does the game sound like this? Why does it sound so ominous and menacing? Am I going to fall into the water? Yeah, I'm falling into the water. Is that a problem? A nice aquatic nap. Oh, wait, no, I'm awake. Did I wake up upon hitting... Okay, I think maybe when I hit the water, I woke up. And that does make sense. It would wake you up if you fell into some water. Okay, he fell asleep because his nap was interrupted. So he did not- that makes sense. He did not have a full nap. He's not gonna have one now either. He's going back in the water.
I wonder if the manual would shed any light on what's happening in this game. Would they want to give you information, or would the would the game lose some charm if you actually had any idea of what was happening here? Oh, it's one of these. Let me just see something here. Okay, I wanted to make sure that it does change on this screen when we do that. But what is the reasoning for changing the tattoo is not clear. something in the water. <laughs> wow. I don't actually know what, what hit us. Couldn't have been drowning. We weren't in the water that long, were we? It looked like there was a fish in there, and I would have liked to try to kill that fish, but that didn't work out. We actually, uh, can we do anything with uh, this right here? I like jumped in it and then was ejected out. Looking at it, the texture of it, it looks like it's made of skin. Huh? Y yeah? Oh, I have a stick now. My culture level went up, and now I have a stick. Brain go up. See, my attack animation is the same, though, so... So, I wonder how effective the stick will really be. My range is not any greater. Not sure if I killed the, the monkey faster than I did before. It's raining. Maybe our culture level can get to the point where we can turn this stick into an umbrella or something.
Running into the southeast, and we're not finding anything. We are bumping into some trees. This is a new one, I think. It is food for the arms. Is that like a pine cone? We eat pine cone anyway. Oh, what's this? Dead animal. Or is it just a is it a rock? No, that's a dead animal, right? Doesn't seem like I can interact with it. I can use it as a pillow. Just bury my face in that rotting corpse. And take a nice nap. Oh, really? More than one? Is this something I should be concerned about? Apparently in an area with the corpses of large animals around. just goes on long enough to forget about falling asleep and then you fall asleep I'm like oh right yes yes of course that happens here? What's this? Camera's having a little trouble with it. Camera just stops right here. All right, we found like a little, uh, little hidey hole. And we have cleaned it out. Whoever left these in this cave are going to get a surprise when they come back. 
Oh, it doesn't seem like there's anywhere else to go there. I guess we're coming. We're leaving the way we came. why that cave is there. It didn't seem like there was anything unique in there. Murder will have to wait. Nap time. Killing monkeys is indeed very tiring. We're back. Let's take a look at our kill count. Getting bigger all the time. But I don't- I doubt we're ready to actually try to take on the larger animals. Even though we have a stick. There's something flying. Yeah, there's a bird. We attempted to fight birds, but it's difficult. They're real fast. Guess we could hang out by one until it comes down.
I wonder how much uh, more powerful you can become if you keep increasing your cultural level. Do you get bigger sticks? We did see a guy with a spear. Oh, that's a weapon. Maybe you can eventually get a spear yourself. And maybe... Oh. I woke up. Did I wake myself up, or was it just that I fell down as I was running? Maybe you j <laughs> Maybe you just have to... Maybe you just have to keep going until your, your cultural level rises enough to make it so you can actually take on larger animals. Maybe the build-up is the early game and actually fighting larger animals is the late game. And if you eventually kill the big enough animals, that's a big one. Maybe you can start building that tower. All right. I don't know how our stick is going to do against those antlers. We might as well find out. I know, it's running. It's not trying to attack. I'm just fortunate we're by this mountain, and it's trying to run up it, but can't. Oh, it's going. It's going. Oh, my range is so low. It's so hard to hit anything. Oh, it's <laughs> pinballed it a little bit. All right. Well, I got a, a bigger animal, at least. At least we were able to do that in our time with Tale of the Sun. A... Just a... Just a baffling game. Just a baffling game. Uh, let's look at anything different about any of our screens here. No, I mean, that's how... That looks as we expect it to look. What about the history? Okay, so it's still like a shape, it's still monkey shapes, but there's a different number. Does, like, the big monkey equal, like, a certain number of smaller monkeys? Like, if you kill ten, ten monkeys, does that get added up into one big monkey? And there's no, like, deer here, or a moose, or whatever that is, so does that just count as, like, a bigger monkey? There's a third character here now, but still no progress on the tower. We would need, of course, to kill even larger animals to do that. Don't remove the memory card. All right. I guess that's our look at... Tale of the Sun. Probably a game that one should read the manual for if one wanted to try it. Um, just a, a, a curiosity. A cur it's, a cur it's a curious thing that this is a game that actually came out on the PlayStation. Uh, and it's fascinating just when you play games like this and you like actually see the inspirations for what would become the, uh, the PS one horror genre, um, certain games like this or a uh, LSD dream simulator. Um, and like, you look at how this looks and sounds and you're like, okay, yes, yes. I, I understand that there are a number of people who played these and then went on to make horror games with this look and sound to it. 
and this this does not seem like it's meant to be a horror game. It's uh, it feels like the unsettling nature of it is unintentional. Like it's not meant to it's not meant to be like that, but it is. Um and we I guess we see what the idea of the game is. I wonder if it changes at all as you start to build the tower with larger bones. That's probably a good way to to end our tryout of Tale of the Sun by face planting and falling asleep. But I guess the main question, of course, is not what I think about it, but what does AI-generated rock think about it? Um, what would AI-generated rock think of, of a game where... Of a game like this. Just a game... I'm, trying to, I'm looking at my rocks. Is there a particular facial expression that would capture the feeling of playing Tale of the Sun. Uh, let's just say, let's say, no, no, let's say this one, maybe. Maybe that. It's sort of like, you got like a bit of a smile on your face, but it's a confused one. Like, you're not really sure what's happening. You feel a little bit alarmed, a little bit amused. Um... You need an explanation, and one is not forthcoming. And I think that that is what that facial expression uh, gives us. That has been our look at Tale of the Sun for the PlayStation 1. Explore the land, eat food, kill animals, and eventually kill big enough animals to use their bones to build a tower. Apparently.